with them unto to Nazareth and was subject to them but his mother kept these things at heart verse 52 and Jesus grew in wisdom and in stature and had favor he grew process process is not one day God will take you one step after the other the law of process you don't make a millionaire in one day no in the 70s and in the 80s Donald Trump was working for his father's company the first one million dollar deal for his father's company was one who clinched it when he made that one million for them he resigned and went to start his own today is one of the richest in the world that's one person that if he's president of United States this war of Russia and Ukraine I believe it can end because if Putin will not listen to him as a president he will listen to him as a businessman that's why he keeps saying it, that he knows what to tell Putin to bring the war. And you know, God gave me a prophecy about Donald Trump. I, I'm not his friend. But last week I saw, the day we had breakfast prayer, I had a vision and God told me that the next trial that he's going for, God will confound his adversaries and he will win. We are following breaking news. The Supreme Court has ruled in a six to three decision that a president has absolute immunity against prosecution for official acts, but they are not immune from prosecution for unofficial acts. Who is winning the U.S. presidential election? It's hard to say with certainty, but increasingly, Donald Trump's chances are looking better. His opponent, Joe Biden, looks increasingly weak after fumbling his way through a presidential debate. There's talk of Democrats looking to replace him, which would, be, which would clear the path for Trump. But his biggest hurdle were his legal battles. Trump faces 91 criminal charges in four cases. And now he may get some relief on that front too. Thanks to the US Supreme Court, it delivered a judgment yesterday, a judgment on the powers of the president. And it seems that one of those powers is immunity. Not for everything, but immunity for any official act they conduct. This is what the US Supreme Court said, that a president's unofficial or private acts can be prosecuted, but not his or her official acts. So it's not total immunity, it's partial. And yet it helps Donald Trump. He's calling it a big win. This is what he posted on his social media platform, Truth Social. It said, big win for our constitution and democracy. Proud to be an American. I just said it, write it down, it will happen. God said he will be exonerated miraculously. I don't know what God is in, I don't know why God is interested in him. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know him. And do you realize that next year is election in America? Is it next year or this year? Stand on your feet. Look at me as we round up tonight.